Hi there, boys and girls. Tonight for story time, we're going to read Time to Sleep by Denise Fleming. Hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving. It's starting to get cooler outside. Bear sniffed once. She sniffed twice. I smell winter in the air, said Bear. It is time to crawl into my cave and sleep. But first, I must tell Snail. Skip the page. Snail was slowly slithering up one leaf and down another. Snail, rumbled Bear, winter is in the air. It is time to seal up your shell and sleep. Snail stopped slithering. You're right, Bear, said Snail. This morning there was a frost on the ground. It is time to sleep. But first, I must tell Skunk. Scritch, scratch, scritch, scratch. Skunk was busy digging grubs. Skunk, winter's on the way said Snail. It is time to it's time for you to curl up in your den and go to sleep. Be careful petting a black and white kitty. Might not be a black and white kitty. Skunk looked up. The leaves on the trees were yellow and red. All right, said Skunk. I will sleep. But first, I must tell Turtle. Turtle was off on a ramble. Stop, Turtle, cried Skunk. I have news. Winter is on its way. Turtle blinked. Winter? Yes, winter, said Skunk. It's time for you to dig down deep and sleep. The days have been growing shorter, muttered Turtle. It is time to sleep. But first, I must tell Woodchuck. Woodchuck is like a, like a prairie dog, like we have around here. Turtle trudged up Woodchuck's hill. Woodchuck, called Turtle. Winter is on its way. It is time for you to burrow down and sleep. Thank goodness, said Woodchuck with a sigh. My skin is so tight, I could not eat another bite. I am ready to sleep, but first I must tell Ladybug. Ladybug was perched high on a branch in a maple tree. Ladybug, called Woodchuck, winter's on its way. Ladybug flew over Woodchuck's head. The leaves are falling from the trees, said Woodchuck. It is time for you to slip under a log and sleep. All right, said Ladybug. But first, I must tell Bear. Bear was softly snoring in her cave. Bear, cried Ladybug. Wake up, wake up, Bear. Bear grumbled and rolled over. The sky is full of geese. Honking goodbye, cried Ladybug. Winter is on its way. Bear. Let's 
some animals migrate and move to a new home. That's where the, the geese are flying to, where it's warmer. Some animals hibernate and they sleep in their homes all winter. Other animals stay awake and try to find food as best they can. The bear opened one eye, then she opened the other eye. What? growled the bear. It is time to crawl in your cave and sleep, said Ladybug. Ladybug, I am in my cave, and I was asleep. Oh dear, said Ladybug. I'm so sorry, bear. Please go back to sleep. Bear rolled over and closed her eyes. Ladybug slipped under a log nearby. A lot of bugs will hide under logs and rocks. Sleep through the winter until it warms back up. Good night, bug, said Bear. Good night, Bear, said Ladybug. Good night, Woodchuck. Good night, Turtle. Good night, Skunk. Good night, Snail. Good night, everyone. See you in the spring. Winter is on its way. It's getting much, much cooler. Time to sleep. I hope you enjoyed our story today. Remember, there's different kinds of ways animals survive the winter. Some of them hibernate and stay in their home. Some migrate and move to a new place. Some stay awake. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.